Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Tonight we've got Fears to Fathom, Episode 5, Woodbury Getaway. Uh, as far as I know, this is the finale to the first season, so we're going to go through it together, and this will be the last episode of the series until more come out. New game. Fears to Fathom, Episode 5. Woodbury Getaway. December 8th. Needed coffee to get done with the day. This is a cool little town. Working late. Fizz. Coffee. Well, put the put the cup in there. Oh. Uh, where's the do you have a dedicated water thing? You don't have a dedicated water thing. All right, fair enough. Can you guys see all this in the background? My camera gets out of whack. Uh, that's not right. Ew. There we go. I need to put on a lid. Gonna use any uh, sugar or anything? Just gonna drink it black, huh? Fair enough. Needed to use the restroom. Is there going to be peeing mechanic in this? Why? Why are you doing this? Put, put the... Put the coffee down before we go pee. Is that your kitty? Aww. Um, where's the restroom? Okay, so we're lady. Does it matter where we go? Couldn't do it with the door wide open. Gross! Why? Are you, are you going to say anything? Can I get past you? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. And that's why you shot, a, shot out from around the corner at me at like 60 miles an hour. That's why you... Whoo. So sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You working late again, huh? Yeah, well... 
you young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too. I'm coming as fast as I can. I'm coming as fast as I can. I'm right here. Go for Sydney Harper. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> no, 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 it even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Uh, I was going to do it after work. Of course, Harper, I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Yeah, that sounds good. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. What's up? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Uh, sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, talk to you later, Harp. What's happening? Uh, rentals. Rentals. Rentacabin.com. Woodbury. Well, only one choice. Booking has been confirmed. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much time for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and the story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We went to a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. What you playing? You got a... Tears of the Kingdom on that? How, how do I accept? I, I want to accept, though. I, I want to take the call. How do I take the call? I, I want to take the call. How do I accept it?
Pulling into the parking garage now. Uh, you downstairs yet? Uh, rent a cabin. Rick Wilson. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10th to the 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Uh, just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. The key will be in the lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Great. Thank you. Uh, Michael J. Carter. Just booked. Uh, do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? What's up, Mike? Huh. That's still how, uh, how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you miss me? You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw the, your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Oh. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's, uh, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right then, Harp. Four twenty six PM It was starting to snow. It was actually a gift from my coworker, Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of resemblance. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. I love Vermont, but it's the season of the sticks, and I saw your mom, she forgot that I existed. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that has that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? We consult. That sounds like important work. Uh, it's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. Harp, do you ever miss college? Uh, Harper, can you focus on one fucking thing? Uh, did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Uh... Uh, it's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in and are safe. Oh, snap. That was close. You know... I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Please confirm when you check in and travel safe. Uh, how far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. I really hate driving in the snow. <laughs> I don't think it's romantic at all. It's kind of beautiful.
5.14 p.m. We're still 45 minutes away. Yo, Harp, check that out. Moe's Pizza? Pizza slices for four dollars. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria, uh, this pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right, then, Harp, Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Cheese, veggie, most special, mushroom, and calzone. What if I got a calzone? Come on in, Harp. Thank you. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands, okay? Like, the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Ooh. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. You little shit. Why <laughs> can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years, and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil. I'm just clearly the better looking. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. I think it would be better field of work for you. You only got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work the ENG sometime. How dare you? I'm a certified news anchor. Certified? Yeah, my ass, okay? You didn't do shit. How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it, punk. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Wh whose voices are those? Hey, you. Do you have a car? Me? Do you have insurance? I do. do you have a dog? Uh. Well, you're in luck, because here at Larry's Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership, we have it all. Buy a dog, and then buy a car for that dog. That sounds like a deal. And insurance for the car that you bought for that same dog. One year warranty on all new models from 2005 to 2006, only two ninety nine ninety nine a year. We offer dirt cheap. Three hundred dollars a year. You'll never find better prices anywhere, especially not at our competitor, Dave's Dealership, because we're the best. Dogs purchased from our dealership are certified pure bread and butter inbreed diamond grade hounds. Note, what? All dogs are tested for influenza and may or may not carry multiple military grade weaponry. But not to worry, they're dirt cheap as well. So come on down to Larry's Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership today and get yourself the deal of a lifetime. I, I think I should go there immediately. And desperately need a break? Yes. Is your 9 to 5 stressing you out? Yes. Take a vacation with rentacabin.com. Okay, we already know that one. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss, uh, most special, pepperoni and margarita. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just the pizza today. Thanks. All right, then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. People in the early 2000s were so spoiled. It smells so good in here. Get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. 
the long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. I've had friends like that. Oh my god, did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess, Baxter got her pregnant and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower? I can see it now, a birth announcement that says, The Force is strong with this one. Mikey, lol, lol, did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married, I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you are the biggest nerd I know, other than Baxter. He would totally do that. This is so cute. All you need is love, the Beatles, Taylor Thompson, Baxter Brown. Aw, so happy for them. They make me believe in love again, heart. Right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met at a Beatles tribute concert in high school. It's too stinking cute. That's goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my ass and revising designs for a company I don't even care about. Blah. Seriously, I feel you, girl. Uh, may as well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. We're practically zombies at this point. Exactly. Oh, face. And I miss the city. Uh, I should say surprised face instead of O-Face. O-Face has a different connotation. Uh, and I miss the city. My social life is officially dead. Syracuse just doesn't hit the same. Can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. Not the same kind as Baxter had for Taylor, but a proposal nonetheless. How about we find a rental house this winter? Somewhere in Vermont, maybe. We can just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm a 100% serious. It'll be like our college days. We can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we get high. I'm sure one of my old contacts could come through. That actually sounds like a great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for the weekend. I heard it. A getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two new clients on me this week. Think about it, Harpy. A weekend, uh, a weekend away from all the stress. No work, no deadlines. It'll be like a girl's trip, but with Mike. Lol. Uh, you say that like it's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll let you guys. I'll, I'll let get back with you after I think it over. XOXO. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. All right, I'm in. But there better be wine involved. All right, good deal. I'll bring some pizza su supplies. Not the kind of wake and bake Mikey has in mind, but it'll be so good. Harp, would you mind taking the lead on booking the house? You've always had a knack for finding a great place to stay. Me? Book the cabin? I suppose I could do that. Nora, that's no problem. We will make sure to get something reasonably priced. Oh, wait. Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Kind of tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. Nora, that's no problem. We will make sure to get something reasonably priced. We've got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Don't say cheap, Harpy. It makes it sound, well, cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. Stop. We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you get going, okay? Uh, you guys are going to hate me. I'm finishing up the work for a client. Uh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving us so late. Uh, frowny face. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. Guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Order number 27, you folks are right here. Uh, where did my mouse go? Uh, where am I? All right, you folks are all set. Consuming. Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. I know, right? Did people in the early 2000s say slaps? Is that a New York thing? Is that one of those things that's come back around? Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw you all put in. Uh, I saw you all pull in driving that nice truck. Uh, that's right. 
Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. You don't mind if I hitch ride with you? Where are you headed? Just headed where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So, what do you all say? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. Uh... Gotta be shitting me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that was weird. He didn't even order anything. I feel bad for the guy, though. After all these years, you're still that same old harp. Damn, harp, you actually eat the crust? It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? Why wouldn't you eat the crust? Uh, Pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. Uh, what? Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Heart XD Heart. Laughing face. Holy, that was good. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see. If my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Uh, I'm going to drive so you can get a break. What is this guy doing? I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. I get first choice of bedrooms when, or if we ever get there. Deal. You did all of that just to yell at the counter? There's not, you're not even talking to anybody. Here's the coffee machine from the hotel. Come on, let's go. I wanted to explore a little bit, and this guy was kind of walking into you, and I wanted to see what he was going to do. Uh, loading? Hello? Game? 5.49 p.m. WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ned and Ultimus. Stay warm, stay tuned. Uh, Harp, did you get your license from a cereal box? I crashed Mike's truck. Uh, Woodbury is to the right. Depth perception in this car.
Come on. I keep a ride on my side. I like the words out of my mouth. Seems to light up my life. I'm connected to a heart like the moon and the tides. And besides, all right, we're here in Woodbury. I think the words come together. Where's the um cabin? Trying to be the best that I could be without no wishing that. Feeling like a plane trying to soar in the sky. But without you feel so hesitant, I can't lie. I'm trying to be a millionaire before I'm 25. Maybe I'm like halfway. Maybe I can make it there. I ain't trying to slow down because I'm trying to retire. My mom drove past our cabin at first. That's what I thought was going to happen. Where is it? Which cabin is it? Give me direction. I would like some direction, please, Dev. Game dev. Oh my god. Is this it? Is this the cabin? It was a very cold night. There's the lockbox? Okay. Uh, 5176. Couldn't have parked Mike's truck there before checking in. What? Why are we getting out here, Harp? Is, is this not the right place? There was a lockbox on the door. I assumed it was the right place. Is it a different place? I don't understand. Okay. I thought you were just going to keep driving there. This is where the Chillizard arrows really help out. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Because uh, there's no indication that this is where I'm supposed to park. I just thought that this was the place, so I stopped there. Um, there's somebody upstairs watching us. Uh, aren't you going to get your bag? Let me get it. So there was a problem in a few of the games. Uh, hold the left mouse button to slide. There it goes. Okay. And then it's 5176. There's a problem in some of the other games where like things would happen in the house before the intruder was in the house. Like it happened in the first game, you saw him on the stairs, uh, but then later he breaks into the house. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Uh, the house was cozy and well furnished. Checked in. Enter the cabin. Um, and then in the second game, uh, he's in the hotel closet, but then you go out and talk to the guy and then he's not in the closet anymore. Uh, what groceries am I putting away? A am I had to open the cooler first? How do I open the cooler? Oh my god. Uh, and then in the third one, uh, she turns, the, or in the fourth one, she turns the oven on. Was that the third? That was the fourth one. I don't even remember what the third one is anymore. Yeah, the third one was the house, wasn't it? Had to close the mini fridge before packing it up. Um, the third one was the one with the stalker, right? So in the third one, she's got the, um, the oven turned on, but she's already in the house or she's outside of the house. So there's been a little bit of inconsistency with the people in the house. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a break in later, even though we just saw the guy upstairs. 
Ooh, sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that. Pizza really did a number on me. Uh, well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Uh, it's nice to get away from the city for a bit. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Is this the dev's uh, poorly disguised fetish? What is with the pee? Why is it all bathroom stuff? The smell alone told me the pizza had really done a number on Mike. Gross. Hi, we've checked in. Are, are we going to tell him that there's a person upstairs? You feeling better after that drive? Much better now. So, ready to check out the place? Sounds good to me. After you. Uh. Is that an Atari? Some board games, an Atari, some notebooks. Um, can I get by you? A basement? Totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of, our, of your college dorm. Are you sure? I don't smell the Long Beach Kush here. Why is the basement down here? Couldn't open the door. No access to guests. I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see. That's a good question. Water heater. Workbench. All the stuff you need for home, home maintenance. Alright, let's go upstairs. Big teddy bear. Storage room. Uh, I'm assuming you're Rick. Oh, hey, you're here. You scared us. Oopsie daisy. I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. Uh, we're just friends. Oopsie daisy. Silly me. We didn't expect to, anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on the, the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Host was a middle-aged guy with nervous energy. Uh, right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Look, Harp, this room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. It's kind of snowy right now. Are you coming, miss? Couch. Shower. So this is like a little sweet. It's a nice deck. 
Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back to before I catch the cold. Let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. Where's the flashlight? There it is. Are you coming, miss? Go. Stop looking up. Alrighty, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter and uh, the bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Nothing to worry about down here, just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right back up, and you'll back, be back in business. Hey sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Runners don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fellow I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks off, but uh, if I were one of you, if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> Looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. Uh, joke. Funny joke. At this point, my creep meter was quietly plunging at around 6 out of 10. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm going to hit the road now. Got to find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. Uh, don't tell him your name. Sydney. Ha, huh, Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's a, a, anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to go take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Who is honking? Go away! Fuck you! Shower. Toss you. Shower door was open.
Um, are we not going to get dressed or anything? Is this a not safe for work game? Uh, there's a hiding spot here. That seems pretty foreboding. Time machines. Hey Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Oh no, it's cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess it could be fun. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Uh, where is it? Okay, there we go. Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Well, first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, harp. Uh, let me grab the bait. Uh, chances of catching common carp. So sweet corn and cheese delights. That's, that's what I want to do. Cheese delight. I hope these carp are biting today. Uh, I think I'm facing the wrong way. Yeah, I can Stardew Valley. Uh, put on hook, throw, sit down. Why? Why am I facing the wrong way? Uh, cast. Common carp. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Uh, right mouse button. Gill. Uh, 
Woohoo, just one more carp left. You got this. Why do I seem to be the one catching all the carp? Got it. All right, Harp. Looks like you got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. That looks like my guitar. I suppose all acoustic guitars kind of look the same, though. Just toss that there. Got some layers of fear over here. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Uh, do I need to write that down? Uh, ginger, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Salt. Yogurt. Uh, salt. Black pepper. Uh, paprika, ginger, garlic paste, paprika, uh, Italian seasoning, and then olive oil. Olive oil. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? On it. Uh, where's the casserole? I had to add the fish first. Two carps. Marinade. Now, could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Uh, why is the oven a microwave? Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. Can we play the Slay the Spire board game? Can I show you how good I am at silent? Uh, Whispers in the Dark, Tower Stack, Mega Rounds, Catopoly, uh, Dragon's Labyrinth, Snakes and Ladders. What is that? Star Titan Force. Um, whispers in the dark, unravel the secrets, immerse yourself in mystery. That's a classic, but how about we go for something with a bit of mystery? I thought that the mystery game would have enough mystery in it, to be honest. Oh, snap, is that a Ouija board? Molly once told me she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. Can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down, uh, down there? That's a great idea. All right, let's go.
Watch out for spiders down here. Ugh, I hate that. You know what will make this even spookier? What now? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. Okay, can I put the board down? I don't appear to be able to turn this one off. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Yes. Take the planchette. Alright, you go first. Uh, are there any spirits who want to talk to us? There it goes. No way, are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. Did you live in this house? My turn. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Holy crap. What the hell, Mike? Wait for me. I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. Some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Oh, I see how it is. First you ditch me, and then you push me away out of the food. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. Are we going to eat the whole fish? Oh, we have to turn the TV on first. Asparagus chocolate cake. With a spoonful of mayonnaise. This delicacy is very popular. Is this Jeffrey again? Where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. After that is not true. Simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate and take a couple of Salt is good for um, the processes that your body needs to generate, like energy or process foods. It, it helps, like, uh, it helps your body, like, do stuff. It's not good for bones. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this. Harp, that was some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught it ourselves. It was really good. We make a great team, Harp. Hey, anyways. I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on a shipment detail for my new DS. I'll be right back. Alright, I'll clean up here. To make sure it doesn't revolt against us, it gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray. 
and place it inside the dish. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. Now, this dish is extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need is gasoline and ramen. This dish really soothes the soul, almost like a high-end cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline into this pot. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Half and half. Is it going to be Mike under his bed? Don't make sounds. Walk slow. Yeah, it's going to be Mike. Knew it. Gotcha. What the hell, Mike? totally got you that was fun wasn't it it's not cool come on it was just a joke you want to go for the next round next round how about a game of hide and seek uh fine all right you're on i'll count to ten decided to hide in the basement uh mike is really bad at this whole riz thing Decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. I didn't realize this was a hiding space. Come on now. I know you're in there. Got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Alright, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. Got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I didn't. I swear in my life I heard something. I see this attic access door in here.
Couldn't reach it without a step stool. Is there a stool on the deck? There is. Uh, but it's not the right stool, apparently. Come on, Sydney, you're not even trying. Excuse me? Are you going to check it out? Uh, you're taller than me, why don't you go? I think uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney. but one of us should really look. Where are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. Oh, there it is. Meow. 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 Can I really not interact with anything up here? Meow. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. Uh, I think she was hungry. Oh yeah? Maybe we can give her one of those carp th after I come find you again. I decided to hide it in the tool shed in the backyard. Why are we doing this? Doesn't Mike want to like make out or touch our butt or anything like that? Why are we doing this? Ah, there you are. Damn, Harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close uh, those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come.
All right, start at the bottom, work our way up. Why are we zooming all of a sudden? Are we going to have to run in the basement? What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a ham hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so, so I'd imagine you don't know what, those, what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> Look, we need to go to bed now. You asked me to leave, miss? No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to you. Game? You there? After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. What does that mean? Ain't no cops in Woodbury. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. That's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in this place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. Uh, it'll help if we both get some sleep. Why don't you come sit down by me, Sydney? Harp, you know... I've missed this. Us, just talking. It's been too long. You know... You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. 
Would you be doing this if Nora was here? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it. Really well. Oh yeah? Do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. Didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Uh, oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sunny. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. Oh, no. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says... Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll get, uh, I'll go help Nora. It's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case. You're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Sweet dreams. Get some rest. Uh, get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. It's freezing cold outside. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Someone was at the front door. I hear that. Is it Rick? The realization that someone outside the slate at night was terrific. Hello? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind. Won't be here for about two hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you let me inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a, co a chance this time, but it looks like you're still unkind. Uh, please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck here either. Dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. But 
but let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Uh, it seems pretty bad that he, like, hitchhiked all the way up here and then... At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? Uh, there's someone we met driving down here who's banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? Go back up in the attic. What's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Still didn't quil uh, feel quite safe opening the door. By the way, where's your friend, the guy who was with you earlier? He went to pick up our other friend. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah. Thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. Sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. Uh, you need to leave right now. What did you just say? This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house will be one of us. Ah. OK. 
Okay, stop that, please. What is he doing there? What was that thing at the door that he was doing that was making sparks fly? What the hell's going on here? Thank you, God you're here. Don't worry about him anymore. So how did this guy know to come back to the house? By the way, where's your friend? Uh, he went to pick up our other friend. Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. What am I doing? What? I can't go outside. I can't go upstairs. Do I go to the basement? He goes, he hits the door with a hammer, which isn't doing anything. Store, please. Uh, run. 
the man had broken the handle. Can you please just add a checkpoint and thank you. What am I doing here? Ah. Something tells me that's not supposed to happen. Was was this play tested? I want to like this game. I do. I really want to like this game. You're making it very difficult for me to like this game right now. What am I supposed to be doing?
So we can't close this door here because if we close the door, he'll turn around and glitch out. We can't go downstairs because he's standing downstairs for some reason. Can we go out the back? Go out the back. Where else is there to hide? I just realized that when he's walking around, the um, doorbell ringing uh, interrupts the squeaking of the floor. can't tell if I'm supposed to be here or not. Just got done talking to other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Um, I can't move. I'm stuck. I can clip out through the, the box, but I can't move. There it goes. Okay.
I don't understand why we can't just put our phone on silent. Just got done talking to their th other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Can I leave? Can I do anything? Is there anything else that I can do other than wait for the cops? You're not giving me any direction. I just want to know what I can do. Told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived, and of course the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used, and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Survivor, survive, the fifth, uh, survive through the fifth episode. Thank you for playing, Fears to Fathom. So this one really suffers from the same thing that um, Episode 3 suffered from, which is just that... Um, which is just that uh, there's only one correct path. You have to do things in the order that you determined is right. Uh, you can't do anything out of order. Uh, you can't hide in different areas. You have to figure out what the dev wants. What is the intended path through the game? Um, I really wish that there were multiple hiding spots and you, as the player, got to decide where you wanted to hide. Um, and the thing with the cell phone was kind of good, where you leave the basement and then the cell phone goes off. So you get to decide, where do you want to go next? Do you want to go to the, the backyard, to the shed where you were before? Um, it's only one entrance, so it's a risk. 
Uh, if he catches you in the shed, uh, he's he can just catch you there. Uh, do you want to go up to the bedroom, uh, the closet, uh, where you have the, the entranceway to the attic? Um, or do you want to go hide under the bed? Like things like that, the choices that the, the player character or that the player has regarding the player character. Um, I would like to see in the next season more choices, more hiding places, more routes through places, not just one intended path that you have to follow or else you just die. Um, cause this and episode three, they both really annoyed me because there's only one path that you can get through, uh, and you have to figure out what it is. Um, I don't know why you keep putting P in these games. Why do you keep putting P in these games? Why? I don't know why you keep putting the, the eating noises in these games. Eating noises really bother some people. Uh, and they're getting a bit excessive for me. Like, I'm usually okay with noises like that, but they're getting excessive for me. Um, yeah. Uh, what else was there? Uh, the story in this one was a little bit better, but it also had more contrivances. Um, the the hitchhiker from the pizza place showing up at the same cabin and just being like, "I saw you two fishing earlier. I know that I know that you guys are there, and I don't see your friend's car here." It's like that. That's a lot of like coincidences that happened with this one guy who's just hitchhiking. Um, I don't know if there's like an alternate path where he comes in and he helps you. Uh, but like, I was still from the second game being like, no, I don't want to pick up a hitchhiker cause he could murder me. Um, yeah. Uh, I do enjoy that these games kind of prime you with the previous episodes. Uh, cause in the first game you had the home invasion. So I was very much primed for home invasions. Uh, the second game you had, uh, the hitchhiker i was very much uh primed for hitchhikers uh, there were uh a few things that uh uh kind of felt off for me just like mike's flirting technique um they've had a relationship before uh so i don't understand why they're beating around the bush here um it it would have been better if like after dinner um she was washing the dishes and he like came up behind her and like tried to hug her uh she was like what are you what are we doing like we didn't we don't do this uh he was like well you remember oregon and he and she was like yeah but oregon was a long time ago something like that um and then that would have been more realistic than like playing hide and seek um the game of hiding hide and seek was weird uh, the Ouija board section was weird. It felt very much like you've seen other games have a Ouija board section. And so you wanted to have a Ouija board section, um, but it didn't really feel very grounded. Like kind of the whole point of Fears to Fathom as a game series is that it's more grounded horror. Uh, you have the the uh, home in invader in the first game. You have the hitchhiker in the second game. You have the uh, stalker in the third game. Um, the fourth game and the fifth game, they both kind of like jump the shark a little bit for me. Uh, I really wish that like, uh, if you're going to do something like, you know, an attic person, somebody who lives in the attic or a basement person, someone who lives in the basement, that the game was like centered around that and felt realistic. Uh, and it wasn't about like a cult or something like that. Uh, a Ouija board. Um, I think that like, if you want to keep the series going, you want to find those grounded stories about things that happen just because people are awful. People are evil. Like people do shitty things all the time. Um, figure out like, what is the grounded story that I want to tell and leave the cults and leave the Ouija boards and leave whatever mysticism you want to a different game series because fears to fathom is supposed to be like the grounded realistic uh horror um and in this game and in um the other one iron bark lookout kind of jumped the shark for me so those are my thoughts uh thank you all for joining me for another night of strange and scary games i love you we'll see you in the next video good night